John Manley joins me once again, this time as he prepares to take on Tiago Oliveira this Friday down at the Mohegan Sun for Bellator 231. John, how's it going? Pretty good, man. How you doing? I'm good. Excited to talk to you again. And this is a, a short turnaround. You just fought two months ago. Well, actually, be come Friday, two months to the day. So, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about how this fight came about. So, uh, as right after the last fight, I saw that Bellator was doing uh, two cards with Mohegan Sun. And when I saw that, I just I emailed uh, I emailed the guys and I was like, hey, if you need anybody to fill in on your card, I'll be there. And, uh, you know, they told me, like, thanks uh, for letting us know. We'll do our best. And uh, it was a little bit, it took them a little bit to find me an opponent, but they got me one, and I was stoked to fight. So, yeah, I fought two months ago, and then actually I fought 30 days before that. So this is like three fights in just over 90 days. I feel great, though. Okay, yeah, I was just going to ask. Your body feels fresh. You don't feel like any wear and tear, no nagging injuries or anything like that? No, I feel pretty good so far, yeah. That's good, man. That's good. Well, listen, I was watching your first uh, fight for Bellator uh, very, very closely. Uh, you, you performed phenomenally. You picked up a huge win. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, that fight in general and I guess how it evolved, because it seemed like you were really wearing your opponent down as the fight went along and then eventually you got the submission. Yeah, that was an interesting fight. Uh, so I fought Thiago Rila. He's a Henzo Gracie black belt, uh, 6'4". So I fought some pretty big dudes before 6'4 is definitely the tallest uh interesting fight uh he got me to the cage much easier than I thought pushed me up against the cage and being so tall uh really helped him normally I'm the tall guy pushing guys against the cage and when he was pushing me I was like oh this is how this feels <laughs> um but uh you know I was I was winning the stand-up but he was able to drag me down a lot um yeah and he was able to almost get my back I got this Kimura grip i had my hips out um i know a lot of people still thought he had my back but until he trapped my hips he didn't and even once he did man like you said i kind of just wore him out even when he had my back he couldn't do anything uh i just kept on hitting him i've been training with this kid placido santos a lot and he goes to uh henzo's a lot trains with john donaher uh he was his uh, uki in the uh in the leg lock uh video for uh, john donaher leg lock video and uh his back control compared to real is just was way better, so thank God for that guy because he helped me out a lot. Yeah. What was the advice your corner was telling you in between the uh, the the second and the third round? Because you didn't catch him until the third round, but again, from from my eyes, it really just seemed like you know stay in the fight, keep the pressure on, uh, control him a little bit more with your wrestling, and then it seemed like maybe you were just gonna he was gonna get more tired, and you were just gonna end up getting the better of him. Yeah, they wanted me to they wanted me to work more stand up and. Uh, just make sure he didn't catch any of my kicks. It didn't really work. He was able to push me up against cage pretty easy. But yeah, just uh, stay calm, stop giving my back. I guess a couple times going for some more, I gave him my back. Uh, they wanted me to wrestle a little bit more, but you know, whatever happens, happens. Well, again, tip of the cap to you. That was a great performance. Happy to see you get that win in your Bellator debut. How important of a win was that at this point in your career? Because you fought in the UFC before. You've been at the highest of levels. And now it's almost like you're you're making that comeback, uh, maybe challenge for a Bellator belt down the line, or, or who knows, maybe eventually get back into the UFC. How important was that for you to not just get a win in your Bellator debut, but to get a finish? Oh, awesome, man. I mean, I, I needed the win. Like you said, it's my first time back in a big promotion. I've been trying to get back into a bigger promotion since the Ultimate Fighter show. Uh, and a tough opponent, too. I'm coming off two losses. I fought, I was coming off two losses. I fought Jeremiah Wells, who's pretty good local weight, uh, welterweight, and he kind of surprised me. Uh, I lost the first two rounds, won the third. Then I just fought. I had a year layoff because of opponents getting injured. I tried to fight three times last year before that, but it didn't work. Uh, and then I fought Manny Wallow on like two weeks notice. I was supposed to fight this guy, Gary Goodrich, but he called up for some reason. And they were like, you want Manny Wallow or this chump? I don't mean to say chump. I forget who the other guy was, but this guy was not on my level. And, uh, I was like, Manny, what you mean? The kid who beat me two years ago? Yeah. Give me him. <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately he beat me again. It was close. Uh, but, uh, I mean, he's like number one in New England right now, ranked. So it sucks. Uh, I definitely... I definitely could have beat him. It's just mistakes, man, uh, made some. So, yeah, so coming off two losses, especially, like, you know, having so long in between fights, it was really big to get a win. And, yeah, I want to finish all the time, man. Nobody likes decisions. So, you know, you got to go for that sub or knockout, TK, or whatever. But 
Uh, and you're still looking for that first KO, so hopefully that will be here in your, your near future. I, I got to ask you too, John. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Forward ahead? I was just going to say, I'm hoping for it tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Friday, not tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, sir. Now, I, I want to ask follow up on that that Manny Wallow uh, scenario there, because as you're moving forward here in Bellator, this is another short notice fight. That second fight with Manny, I'm just getting the, the hunch that if you had a full training camp and you didn't take the fight on short notice, you feel like you would have gotten the win. Is that something that you're going to take into consideration as you move forward fighting for Bellator? Do you want to try and get full training camps in to be at your 100% best? Or are you just going to take short notice fights if the opportunity presents itself uh, just to stay in their good graces? I'll fight whenever I can, man. I'm ready all the time. I just like to fight. Uh, like Manny was just a last minute replacement switch. And you know what? You lose, win some, you lose some. I used to be a lot more concerned about my record and be like, oh, I just want to win. I just want to win. I don't give a fuck anymore. I just want to fight. I'm getting old. I'm not old, but 33. I got, you know, five years left if I'm lucky, right? I just want to fight as much as I can and fight really tough dudes. Did you have any celebration uh, parties or anything like that after the Bellator win, or did you just kind of low-key? Uh, I just I uh, went out and hung out with all my friends at the fight. So I just went right back out. A bunch of people saw me that – didn't even know me, started buying me beers and stuff. So it was really cool just to get to hang out there, watch the rest of the fights. Uh, this one will be cooler. The last one, uh, I forget where the fight was. It was somewhere in Connecticut, but the hotel and the the fights were kind of far apart. Now my hotel's like 10 minutes from the casino. So I can go party at the casino after and then just take an Uber home. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you down there. Uh, the weigh-ins are tomorrow. What's your weight at right now? How much do you have left to cut? Oh, uh, I'm at like 180, so I got like nine pounds. Yeah, it's uh not awful. I know a lot of guys do a lot more, but it's just not my style. I used to, I used to struggle, and now I like to keep it nice and easy. So a little bit more than I want, but uh, but not bad. So so what's the uh, what's the game plan going to be to get that last nine pounds off? Is there a, a sauna nearby you're going to go hit? Or are you going to be taking hot baths? What, what do you like to do? Uh, if I normally a jacuzzi is the best, so yeah, probably a hot bath because they don't have one here. Uh, we'll see, you know, I should hope I was waking up around 179. So hopefully tomorrow I'm about 177 and then I'll get like the last six pounds off and sweat. Uh, again, that's not normally my goal. I like to do four or less, uh, they say 2% of your body weight or something. Uh, but if I got to do a little bit more, not so bad. Now, you said your body's feeling nice and healthy coming into this fight here on Friday. How how excited are you to not just fight again for Bellator, but to be here in the New England area? Are you anticipating a lot of family and friends to be there supporting you? Oh, yeah. I got a lot of people from my school, uh, a lot of family coming down. And then I got – there's so many local fighters on the card. I mean, so we got Nick – we got me tonight. We got uh, – or Friday night, we got Nick Newell. Uh, Saturday, I think we have – we have this guy, Dan, uh, forget his last name, little guy from Triforce, awesome, Cormay or something. Oh, yeah, okay. And, uh, yeah, we got a ton of local people, so I'm just stoked to be part of it, man. Bellator, again, Bellator is such an awesome promotion. Uh, um, they're Jane Esc Escutillo and Rich Chow are just such nice people. They take care of the fighters and treat us so well. Like, um, It's great. It's just it's nice coming here and feeling like they actually care about you, you know? That's awesome. And and there's two great cards. Obviously, the one you're on Friday night, headlined by um, Frank Mir and Roy Nelson. And then Saturday, Douglas Lima and Rory McDonald. It's really just some phenomenal fights. If you're an MMA fan and you're in the area, make sure you get to the Mohegan Sun. Are there any fights in particular that you're really looking forward to, to kind of maybe fanboy out and just kick back and watch? Well, definitely uh, Roy uh, Nelson versus Frank Mir. Uh, Roy Nelson was my coach on the Ultimate Fighter Season 16. And super cool guy, great coach. I'm very excited to, to see him and say hi to him and get to watch him fight. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, um, what else is on my card? There's a lot of good fights on my card. That I'm very excited for the, for the, the Lima fight. Uh, that's just two freaking studs man and my weight class so it's always fun to watch those guys are fucking scary oh what other card is to, um uh sadawad's fighting uh yeah yeah he's stepping in on short notice it's the co-main event he's taking on uh paul daly he's taking on paul daly that should be a really good fight too um i was excited to see sabah hamasi fight paul daly i fought sabah hamasi before um he's a that last knockout he got was fucking brutal uh <laughs> 
Yeah, and I was really excited to see him fight Paul. I'm not sure what happened to him yet. I'm, I don't know if he got hurt or something. I didn't I didn't see it, but I saw that Saad was up. Saad's a really tough fighter, too. Uh, he was on the Ultimate Fighter show when I was on. Yeah, he was on the tryouts, yeah. So I got so, to meet him as well. Yeah, I've interviewed him a few times. He's a really cool guy. G- give me a couple of picks. Who do you see winning in the Awad daily fight? And then McDonald and uh, Lima, who do you got? Oh, my God. Well, I'm gonna have to go with McDonald because you know, just uh, those he's very awesome. Triforce is a great gym. I mean, Lima's definitely got a chance, but uh, uh, Roy's Roy's jab is so good. His understanding of the straight line. I mean, he's very good boxer. It looks like to me. I, I really think that that he'll do well. We'll you know we'll see. Uh, and then what was the other one? Oh, the uh, Sadawad. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to go with Sad. I mean, uh, Paul Daly's a fucking monster. Fucking explosive, really dangerous. Uh, Sadawad, just very, I feel like, better, uh, more well-rounded. Mm-hmm. Going to be a, a couple of great, uh, not just fights, but fight night cards, both Friday night, your event, uh, and Saturday night as well. Let's talk a little bit about this matchup. Your opponent, he's 16-4. and four. He's on a little bit of a win streak. He looks to be a little bit more of a, a ground specialist. A lot of his victories are submissions. Do you feel like he's just going to try and get this to the ground? Is, is he slicker than you on the ground? What, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, yeah, so he's 16-4, and four, great record. Really, really impressive. Uh, he definitely is like a ground specialist. I would say he's a submission hunter. He likes to really jump on submissions and he'll jump on from anywhere. So that's what I got to be careful about. I, I don't think he's much better than me on the ground. Um, his standup's okay too. I've seen him. He's got okay front hand, some kicks. He'll swing a little bit, but he's definitely, he's definitely more comfortable on the ground. Um, I mean, like I said, I got to be careful. I got to take him serious, but, uh, good luck submitting me. Good luck ground upon me. Good luck getting me tired. Like, not going to happen. I also saw that he fought at uh, lightweight. So I'm assuming that you're going to have a little bit of a size advantage here. Do you think that's going to play a factor into this fight? I mean, I'm sure as uh, as time goes on, you know, and I grind on him, it's going to – it'll play a factor. Uh, he seems pretty big. I think he's like six feet tall, so I think he's a pretty big lightweight. Uh, but, I mean, I'm a decent-sized welterweight, so we'll see. Uh I mean, like I said, the beginning, I don't think it'll it'll make that much of a difference. But if we do get into that grind, then it, it'll start wearing away at him. So uh, I know you want to get that that first knockout. That it's something that you're really hoping happens here soon. But what do you envision here in this fight? Do you envision a, a tough fight, a decision victory for yourself? Do you think you're going to catch him in a submission or, or maybe catch him with a big overhand and, and, and knock him out cold? Uh, TKO or sub, man, or, or, or knockout. I'm going to finish. I don't see this going 15 minutes. Uh, I am ready and I, I want to finish it. I'm going to try to uh, knock him out. Uh, but, if, you know, if, if he closes the gap and gets me to the ground, I'm not scared of that either. I'm not going to I'm not going to not take a submission to go for a knockout. But, you know, you never know. Gotcha. Well, listen, always a pleasure catching up with you, my man. Happy to see you fighting back for Bellator. I like the haircut, too. Uh, ma- makes you look uh, like the young John Manley from The Ultimate Fighter, you know, back in the days. So it looks good. Before I let you go, man, any sponsors or anyone you want to thank? Uh, obviously, the floor is yours. Yeah, so let me make sure I get this right. Uh, so Alina's Restaurant in uh, South Hadley, Massachusetts. Uh, guys always help me out. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Western Mass Hemp. Uh, Western Mass Hemp is making a bunch of... Uh, Really good CBD products and uh, and uh, just yeah uh, they for any injuries I have had they've really helped me bounce back and I wasn't a big believer in CBD but now I am I'm um, the last one uh, let's do uh, John April knives so I have one student I have the basis for stained and uh, in one of my classes he's an awesome dude super cool and uh, he makes a bunch of knives and shit and he helps me out a bunch too so I just wanted to give a shout out to him as well. Very cool. Well, again, always a pleasure to talk to you, buddy. I look forward to seeing you down there at Mohegan. Uh, Let's try and chit-chat a little bit uh, after the fight, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good night for yourself and a a good night uh, of fights uh, this weekend at Mohegan. Sweet. Beer after the fight.